Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, part three and final part of my mystery package, mystery box, blind box, unboxing uh, from Amazon. And yeah, let's have another look and see what the final three paintings were. Um, if you remember from part two, I uh, did get a duplicate of this butterfly canvas and I did contact the company and within a couple of hours they got back to me and said sorry and they would send me another canvas in place of this one. So they've not asked me to send it back or anything so whether they will or not I'm not sure. Um, but yeah so if I do get the new canvas uh, I'll wait a couple of weeks and see what happens. I will let you know what happens with that. So yeah that was pretty good customer service. Um, so maybe we'll get 11 paintings instead of just the 10. It's a shame that that one's a duplicate, but never mind. Uh, I'm sure we can find some good use for that one. Okay, so let's have a look at these last three in this package and then I can get rid of this very strange package off my desktop. Yeah, it was certainly well and truly packaged that with uh, the tape all the way around it. <laughs> Okay, so yep, this was the blind box that I got of 10 diamond paintings, um, all random, all supposed to be different, and it was £22.99, including postage through Amazon, and it was from the Jing Chen Kiji UK store. So I'll put the links down below. I mean, there is quite a few of these blind boxes, um, random boxes, mystery boxes going around at the moment. I think there are a lot of spare diamond paintings that have been made. So they're making them up into boxes, which is, you know, a bit of fun, great fun if you just enjoy the process of diamond painting and you're not too bothered about, you know, wanting ones specifically to hang on your wall or ones to do it yourself then yeah, these are great and that's what I like doing. I just enjoy the process of doing it. Um, and I've just got a portfolio that I put them all in and I've got my magnetic frames now that I switch them in and out of. So I can have various ones up if I want or not, as the case may be. Okay, so they worked out at £2.29 a painting, which, you know, is not bad, um, including postage. Okay, so what have we got, what have we got, what have we got? Let's have a look at this one first and okay oh yeah this is one that's been doing the rounds for quite a while this is the uh, colorful stag with the leaves uh yeah i've seen this quite a few times quite a few times unboxed it's poured glue these have all been poured glue so it looks as though i know one that one's 30 by that one's a 30 by 30 that one's a 30 by 40 so in the pack then we got um eight 30 by 40 canvases and one 30 by 30 canvas so reasonable reasonable okay get rid of the crinkly plastic and let's have a look oh this is a very stiff canvas as well they've been quite different some of them have been quite nice and soft some of them have been quite a stiff canvas the couple that i opened last time were like cardboard this one's not too bad not too bad so the toolkits have been pretty consistent. This one's got, what, four little grip seal bags, your wax, your boat and your pen. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get started on your painting. And I think we had one that had the drills that were in there. Horrid little 200 packets. But most of them have been uh, like this. So that's pretty good as well. So let's get this one flattened. We'll just lift the plastic up. It tends to help it flatten down that little bit I never find that rolling it backwards does a huge amount for me maybe it's just me um, but yeah I find that just straightening out the plastic seems to make it sit a little bit better right, it's a very cute deer this one um, and yeah I think I can think of a few people that may like to have a go at doing this one it is uh, around I think that I have all been yeah they've all been around one as well so uh, they've just been the sort of like little basic 30 by 40 uh, kits but yeah as I say I'm very much with most things you pay for what you get you know Um, this one's 27 colours we do have the DMC codes and we've got your code your key codes at both sides so that's pretty good uh, this is all looking very nice and clear this drill field here I think you can see even on the dark there are white letters on the darker colours so that's pretty good so yeah on the whole I've been mm, 
reasonably happy. A couple of them were a bit pixelated, but yeah, this is this one looks okay. So it's one that I've seen around quite a bit and put it in my basket a few times and then taken it out. Uh, so now I've got it anyway. <laughs> Okay, so this one is 25 centimetres that way, which is roughly just under 10 inches, and it's 34 and a half centimetres that way, which is 13 and a half inches ish. So you, know, you do, with most powder glue canvases, uh, you do lose that edge. I would think it's maybe because of cost, but also they're wanting to put the legends on it. And they would have to make it bigger. Um, I have had poured glue ones that have been the correct size so I'm not 100% sure on why they do it this way but uh, yeah I think that's uh, pretty nice. Let's have a quick look at these drills. They are all the acrylic drills. Get these out. Okay here we go. There it is. I got it. I got it. Yay! So they're not as good quality and as sparkly as the resin drills but they are what they are they're you know a good little kit a good little starter kit the nice picture to start off with and that's 20 so where's number one and two strips so number one uh have i got a dmc codes no there's no dmc codes on the packet so you may use just uh, use the ones off your canvas if that's what you do with your spares so we had like a salmony pink and a nice pale peachy colour and like a corally colour and a nice orange and a very dark grey and a lilac colour and an orangey red and a pale grey and another shade of orange because I can't think of any more to say <laughs> and like a mustardy colour and a very sort of sandstone colour and a nice yellow oh and a lovely pale blue and a little bit darker blue and another orange red colour lovely colours in this it'd be a nice one to do and pink and a dark blue and another couple of blues and then like a fawny brownie colour at the end there and then we've got a, a lovely jade green and a purpley colour and another lovely pale blue and that's one of my favourites that's the uh, peppermint cream green i'm going to continue to call it because it does remind me of the inside of a chocolate peppermint cream sweet and that's like a navy blue and a burgundy color and another corally pinky color so yeah i do like ones with nice happy colors on so that's a good one to have a look at so I'll just pop those on one side and the canvas and we'll have a look at the next one Okay, so this one is a 30 by 30, so let's see what this one is. As I, say, I do think they've maybe got an abundance of certain kits, so they are sort of like, rather than selling them off cheaper, put them in a, a big package, it saves on postage, um, and sell them, you know, as like a mystery box. So this is a bit softer canvas, oh yeah, I think I've seen this one around quite a bit as well. Uh, oh, we've got an extra. We've got an extra stuck to the back there. Okay, get rid of that. Very staticky. Uh, exactly the same toolkit. So we've got a nice collection of those. <laughs> okay, let's just lift this plastic and give it a bit of a flatten. And it's a heart on a, like a beach scene, I suppose. I think it's like pink sand and uh, a blue sky with a bit... Uh, Mm. It's. I think we'll call this one an abstract because it's very small and uh, yeah it is quite pixelated really you know, to get any definition but uh, I have actually been to the Isle of Wight um, they do have different coloured sands there I, I presume there will be places around the world that have I've never seen actual pink sand but I've seen like pinky tones and orangey tones and things in sand um, when you go to the Isle of Wight, you can actually go to the place where the beach is mainly all the multicoloured. Uh, the best place to see it actually is from a boat, so that you're looking back at the shore um, and can actually see it. It's really good. I've got some good photographs. I don't know whether I can find them. If I can, I will put one in. If I can't, uh, then I apologise. Uh, 
um, but yeah and you can fill up like little glass ornaments with the different coloured sand layer them up um, with all your different coloured sands so yeah that's nature's way so possibly there is a pink beach out there somewhere but yeah it's you know just a little basic 30 by 30 a quick little painting to do uh, nice for a beginner because uh, there's you know bits of colour blocking and also bits of confetti so you've got a, a variety lovely bright colours and it's only 23 colours so you know you, you've got uh, a nice little number there to work with as well for somebody's first time so yeah I think uh, these are pretty good for what you're paying okay so again that one's just under 25 centimetres that way and just under 25 centimetres that way so yeah you, you, you're losing your five centimetres uh, from your canvas two and a half centimetres each side you've got your key code both sides again I think you can see that's a lovely clear drill drill field again you know we're not going to have any trouble seeing those um, looks like we're pretty standard we've got numbers down to nine which seems to have been on all of them um, and then mainly capital letters so you know that's always easier to work with it is for me anyway rather than symbols and um, I realize when you get to the huge canvases that have got more than you're know, like 30 colors or whatever you're gonna have to start using something different um, other than numbers and alphabet because there's only so many yeah, letters and numbers that you can use so yeah but uh, yeah I'm pretty impressed with that one again okay, nice colors I do find, let me just get into this one. Oh, oh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Yay! Do you think after a year I'm finally getting the hang of getting into these packets? Probably not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do find, and I do always say that if you're working with nice bright colours and cheerful things, it does always lift my mood for some reason. Uh, yeah, I do like a nice cheerful colour, cheerful paintings. Oh, and look at these. Wow, so we've got a lovely pale blue and then look at all these lilacs and purples. Oh, wow, they're really nice. Really good, nice bright so cheerful colours. There's my peppermint creams again, corally pinks, some more blues. So yeah, it's like an ombre effect. We're going from a dark pink to a light pink to a light blue to a bit darker and then a bit paler again at the top. So yeah, it's going to look pretty good. And um, so it's not particularly something I would want on my wall, but you know, it, it is what it is. I keep saying that. I must stop saying that. <laughs> must be my new words for Christmas or New Year. Uh, right, so, and then that's your last three colours there. So, that's number three. No, it's not, it's not. That's number two. And this is number three. <laughs> so, what's this one? Oh, okay. All right, let's have a look. Uh, where does this one open? Come on, come on. Oh, there must be an opening somewhere. There it is. Got it, got it, got it. So again, this is a 30 by 40, and looking at the size and the edges, yeah, it is going to be. Okay. Oh, okay, this is a different one. All right, all right, okay. No idea what that bird is, but yeah, this is going to be about a 25 by 35. Um, oh, have we got all separate packets again? There looks like it. Same toolkit, okay. Let's flatten this down a bit. Uh, I would have to look up what this bird is because I've absolutely no idea. We certainly don't have anything that looks like this in this country. So if it's in your country or you know what it is, let me know in the comments down below. Let's have a bird watching educational video. <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever even seen a picture of one that looks like this before. So. Mm, it looks like it's sort of a zebra type stripe at this end and then we've got a nice tan colour at the top and we've got like a, a spiky hairdo. We're a bit uh, going for a Mohican there and some nice pink flowers. 
again we've got uh, 20 colours in this one so there's less colours in this one than there was in the 30 by 30 two key codes this is quite a nice canvas not really stiff not really soft just an in-between one so yeah that's okay a little bit of colour blocking round about with the background but yeah absolutely no idea what that is at all quite strange quite different to look at i like the flowers and i've got a horrible feeling yeah but these are all in separate little bags did they do this with one of the other ones i can't remember it may have been my known one that i got from somewhere they all merge into one after a while <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to take all these colours out for whatever reason. Um, all the little packets are all separate little packets. Um, we have my peppermint green, peppermint cream green there. So I know we've got that one. We've got a few pinks and greens and browns. And there's a navy blue there and a dark green. But yeah, I'm not going to take those out. Because I'll never get them back in. <laughs> okay again you've got dmc codes but the dmc codes aren't on the drills that is just your canvas number so if you do lose one of your bags you've got your canvas number that matches there on your bag and on your canvas at the top so you know that's pretty good set so fairly standard on some of these so i'll just colours that up a bit okay so the final part of this so the final furry pictures of this were the little bird, the little deer, <laughs> a little deer. <laughs> and we've got a little beach scene as well. Okay, so that's actually nine different canvases we've seen. Um, I will let you know, as I say, when the company, if they do send me the other one. I've no reason to believe they won't uh, because it is through Amazon and they usually are pretty good. Um, so yeah right well if you've enjoyed looking at these with me if you can give me a thumbs up that would be much appreciated and I would love you to come back and see more so if you press that subscribe button and the little bell next to it you'll be notified when my next videos come out so thanks ever so much for stopping by and I hope to see you all again soon bye for now